welcome to Gen X Toy Box. We had a really fun weekend. Uh, we had a kind of a kid-free weekend, so we took a trip to Lynchburg, Virginia. We just figured we'd take about an hour trip to go to Danville, and then the hour trip to Danville kind of turned into our trip to um, Lynchburg, but it was totally worth it. We found some really good stuff. And the reason we went was mainly because our son is now obsessed with the new Ninja Turtles. Um, he has some of the vintage figures and he has some of the newer figures, but I remember that Ollie sold some of the turtles and it's the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He doesn't know the difference. He thinks they're all turtles. It's cool. So we've been kind of on the hunt for them and we went to many Ollies to find them across state lines to find them, kind of how we do things. So I kind of wanted to share with you what we found at Ollie's. Um, so these are the things my husband found. I don't understand these things, like these squirty, nasty, gooey things. Like you squeeze them and stuff comes out of their faces. I've never understood them. I think they're gross, but my husband likes them because they're gross and because there's a skull involved. So this one he bought for him. This is going to be his. And apparently you like fill it with water or something and squirt it. Um, you know, this uh, it's kind of a nasty squirts up to 15 feet i mean that's kind of cool action right there so that one's gonna be my husband's and then this one um is kind of dinosaur ish um so it's like a lizard so this one's gonna be for my son i think he's gonna like this one it's definitely gonna be a bath toy for him so it's gonna be kind of fun for him to play with but gotta love those crazy toys all right and then the other thing we found of course is some transformers right um, so these are really cute and they're tiny. So these are um, from the Siege, the War on Cybertron one, right? And I really like it because they're smaller, so they're more collectible. Um, they're actually probably going to get hung up somewhere uh, since they're so small. But this is the Tri Tyraxodon. I mean, I can't even pronounce that. But I um, kind of wanted to show you. That was a cool Ollie signed. Um, I kind of convinced my husband to get the Transformers. He was kind of on the fence about them, but... Um, I don't remember seeing them, so I kind of wanted to pick them up. I thought they were neat. And they were small enough to put downstairs uh, in our other toy room, which I think is almost complete. I think we're almost there. So I'm going to have to figure out what number we're going to get to as far as subscribers so we can do a toy, a toy room walkthrough of that one. And then, of course, my husband found Starscream. I'm very glad he found this uh, because that means that we don't have to hunt for it anywhere else. So I was very excited for him to find it. So, um, yeah, I think it comes, there's another one. It's like Optimus and I think um, Scraplet. Yeah, it was the other one that it comes with. So kind of glad this one was done. Kind of wish they did a Megatron though. But again, I like the smaller figures. They're more collectible and they're smaller that you can put them up and display them better in my opinion. So, and then we have another Transformers. So I really love this one. And I honestly think my husband has it and I think it's open. Um, but this is the Lionizer one. And I think this one's really cool. So I kind of convinced him to get it. Um, it, it he kind of had no choice on this one. This is kind of just my choice. Um, he was on the fence and I said, yes, please. But um, I, I think these are really cute. They're, they're small and compact. And I know exactly where I'm going to put these. But you know, these are from like the Battle Masters things. But um, but it's kind of off of the line for, it's like kind of mimicking the, the line from the 80s. So I actually really like these. I'm, I'm kind of glad we found them. All right, so we're gonna move on to the turtles we found. Um, so the first ones we found, we went out to dinner um, for my birthday on Friday and there happened to be an Ollie's where we were going, right? So I was like, didn't they have turtles action figures? We stopped by, we found some, and our son was so excited. He could not wait to get them open. So I'm going to show you the open ones. So this is the Splinter. I love him. He is so cute and animated and so compact. I just love him. Um, so my, my son's been playing with him pretty much all day. Uh, this is his second favorite that he's gotten so far. Um, I will show you his, his favorite in a little bit, but I love this take on Splinter. He's just so short and jolly and I absolutely love him. All right. And now this one, I cannot think of his name. I think it's like Baron Max Draxus, Draxus, something like, hold on, let me see, it's on the back. Baron Draxum, see I was really close. Um, so he's got like all these little like critters with him and my husband actually took, 
he, he comes with two little critters, like shadow critters. My husband took them, and they're in the toy room downstairs because I know my son's going to lose them. So, I mean, I really like he's got, like, bugs on his arms and, like, the other shadow critters on his on his arms and everything. And I know there's probably a better name for them than shadow critters, but that's just what I'm going to go with because that's what I want to name it. So this is, this is one of the ones he's been playing with, but his absolute favorite, and I honestly don't know why, um, it's called Meat Sweats. Um, it's a big, giant pig butcher, and um, he comes with, like, a nasty little meat arm attachment, um, so that's odd, and he comes with, like, a meat mallet. So, I mean, don't know why this is his favorite. I mean, it's the bigger and chunkier of the group, so maybe that's why, and he's just so ridiculous. Why not? play with a giant pig butcher um but this is the one he's been playing with all day so more power to him they're, that's what they're bought for they're bought for him and he can play with them any way he chooses so i'm going to scoot them over a little bit and then these are the ones we picked up today um so we pretty much found them all except for the turtles they're going to be the harder ones to find i think um i'm not too worried about it so these are the origami ninjas these are more of like the army builder ones like almost a take on a foot soldier um so they're really cool looking. Like they almost have the same whole mask and everything. Um, so I'm like reading a little back, oh, the backstory. It's like Origami Ninja. The Foot Clan is a group of evil ninjas bent, over, bent on taking over New York City. They have the power of teleportation through hidden gateways and the ability to create and control origami ninjas. Okay. So essentially the Foot Clan has power over these origami ninjas. See, I have not watched this TV series yet. It's something that I'm gonna have to do um, eventually, probably, for my son's sake. Um, but, I mean, he's got little ninja stars and everything. So these are probably gonna be the ones that my husband's gonna play with these, the Army Builder ones. I know my son would lose all these little weapons, so um, he'll probably get one. He'll probably get one figure, and we got four of these today. Again, because they're army builders. So, of course, why would we not have four of them? So, these are the four we found. Probably my son's going to get just one, but that's fine. Um, and then we were fortunate enough to find April O'Neil. So, I absolutely love her. A, because she's African American. Love it. And B, she comes with this, like, little doofy animal that I have to find out what that is. Because it's very odd. Um, I'm trying to see weapon is a baseball bat so that's cool um her pet is called mayhem and they take on epic adventures so again i'm gonna have to watch this because the more i'm seeing these action figures the more i kind of want to see how they play out in the cartoon so i'm interested so stay tuned i may tell you how the cartoon went all right so i think that was it for ollie so that was that was kind of our first step that's kind of why we went out we're on the hunt for these and did not find the turtles, but it's okay. Um, and then our other hunt today was Goodwill. I mean, I you know my obsession with Goodwill. I go all the time um, getting some winter clothes and stuff. And also because you can find some cool hidden gems as far as toys. Like, for example, my husband found this Grimlock McDonald's toy from, like, the newer Transformers. And it's going to go in the Grimlock Shrine downstairs. So this was a really cool find. And, you know, they're in, like, those bins that you can search through and, you know find hidden treasures like we just love finding random stuff in random bins um and this thing i actually have no idea what it is it's from disney jr that's all i know um not really too concerned about what it is it's for our son he's gonna put a little imaginex guy in there or something um so it's pretty much for him to play with i'm not really concerned about what it is or why it is it's just for him to play with he's gonna get kicked out of it and then i bought i kind of want to show you there you go let me put this up um the other things we got were I found this really cool bin of books, right? And normally I don't look through bins of books because they're mostly like ripped and everything. So I don't really pay attention to them. I don't really dig through them. But what caught my eye was this was right on top. And my son absolutely loves Muppet Babies right now. We've been reading a lot of the Muppet Babies books. So I figure why not the Muppet Kids? And this one's very accurate. So I'm mad at you. So I'm assuming it teaches the lesson on, you know, what to do when you're mad at a friend and how to handle that whole situation. And it's nice and short and it's something that he's going to get a kick out of reading. And it's vintage-ish, so I'm very excited about getting it. Um, I also found, this is a classic. I don't know if you've read it. You should have read it. If not, shame on you. Go read it. 
Um, this is an absolute classic. I have read this over and over to children in my career, in my lifetime. The art, the stories, classic. Um, so, I mean, it's part of the I Can Read book club. So, start reading this book if you have not already. And then, of course, because we're a Halloween house, this is a cute little board book. I love board books. Um, they hold up a little better. But this is Mouse's First Halloween. So I think he has a ton of Halloween books upstairs anyway. So I figured mine as well. And, and apparently there's a Mouse's First Christmas on here too, but I don't think we're gonna get that one. Um, and then the other one I really like, they had a bunch of these too. I actually had these when I was little. Um, so these are like the Walt Disney ones and they're called Bantam books and they're like the fun to learn library. This is like volume five. And this one is Animals and Their Babies. So it's a good way to, you know, learn and like it goes along with the Disney themes and everything. And the thing I really like is it has on these all here. Like I had the It's a Small World. I had the Alphabet A to Z. But it's like a whole series of, you know, teachable books. So I had these and I, I'm kind of excited to share that with Zeke as well. So those were our finds for the, oh no wait, I'm forgetting this whole pile I have back here. Um, so we like to decorate the outside of our house. Our house is the weird house in the neighborhood. We've got gargoyles out front. We've, we've got like some ceramic ghosts out front. Um, we've got like the Halloween props that are like the mummy, mummified animals. Like we're the cool house in the block. I'm not going to lie. And we have flags. I know you guys have seen our Halloween flag that we had out front, the Taz one. Goodwill had a bunch of flags. Like that is the best place to get them. If you're looking to get flags for your house, go to Goodwill. They're reasonably priced and they're almost brand new. Um, so we definitely change them out. So you guys know we are not a Christmas household. Um, so we got a Christmas one, but it's Taz from Looney Tunes. And it says Bah Humbug on it. So of course we're gonna get it because that's just right up our alley. It's exactly how we celebrate Christmas. It's little Bah Humbug and a little Looney. So that just fits right in with everything. And then the next two, I mean, we have a Halloween flag. No, actually we have a fish and a fish bowl one out there now because it's not Halloween, but I'm not opposed to having a Halloween one out there when it's not Halloween. So we bought a couple more. So this is a trick or treat one and it kind of gave me like a Charlie Brown vibe. I don't know why, it just reminded me of like Charlie Brown in the costume, the ghost costume. So um, got that one, was definitely happy to find it. And then of course we have another Halloween one. Why would we not? And this one's all like reminds me of Casper a little bit. Super cute, really colorful, and it's gonna get hung out at some point. So um, it's just really nice, I dig it. All right, so those were our finds. And you know, of course I got clothes and stuff for the little one and all that stuff, but it's not toy related and it's getting washed. So you don't have to see that one. But then when we came home, we had packages. And packages have been, you know, fewer and far between. I have to give my husband props. He's been doing much better. Um, before he was hitting eBay like six, seven times a day. And he's been, you know, doing pretty good. He's been off eBay. I've been off Facebook Marketplace. Just try to, you know, we want to save for a vacation we want to take. So um, we've been doing less online shopping. And I know it's been a lot harder for him than it has for me. And I kind of think I know what this is. Um, so I'm just going to try and open this as best I can. I don't even know where the tape starts, but I want to be super careful because if this is what I think it is, it's kind of fragile. Um, but yes, this is what I believed it to be. So I'm going to cut through all the bubble wrap, which is, you know, going to take me a little bit. Um, and everything's very sticky, but the good thing is it's packaged very, very well. So I know we have mentioned this individual before on our channel. Um, we have gotten something from him. This is when we did the toy swap. We found these custom GI Joes and we had to figure out who they were from. And there's a person on, um, we follow him on Instagram and a lot of his stuff. Um, so check the description below for his information. Black Major, he does a lot of customized Joes. They're phenomenal. I absolutely love them. And my husband just went buck wild as soon as he saw his page. 
Um, so this is a Snake Eyes that is customized. And I'm going to see if I can get him to stand because you know my history of making action figures stand. I can't do it. Especially Joe's because I always feel like one leg is longer than the other. There you go. Um, this is like a desert type one. See, like all his weapons are brown. And he's got like the brown wolf and everything. Oh, geez, please don't. There you go. Um, so it's kind of like a desert camouflage type situation that I really like. Um, and then, see, I didn't know what he actually bought. I know he bought stuff, but I didn't know what he bought. This is actually really cool. Um, the face on this is amazing. I love the colors. I love the black, the white, and there's tons of detail in the back that I'm going to show you as well. Um, but it's really pretty. And he comes with, it looks like another torso, which is really great. Um, and a ton of weapons, which I'm not going to take out the weapons, but you, as you can see, I want to turn these around and hopefully not have them fall over. But I really like the attention to detail on here because if you see, um, like it looks like a bone back there. It's kind of cool. So it's really good attention to detail on that part. Um, and then it looks like we've got some extra arms here, which is always good. Um, so we can swap them out or whatever. For some, why do I feel like these are bat arms or something? These are bat arms. So, you know, my husband's obsession with bats. So that's, that's helpful. So we got extra bat arms. Oh, I forgot one of his desert weapons. Here we go. Didn't want to lose that. Um, and they look like a bunch of just pieces and stuff. So I'm gonna only gonna take out a few. I mean, these are like, um, it's like a grab bag almost that he got of these. Um, so he got like a bunch of random stuff. So he's got like torsos um, put up there. See, like little. I'm just gonna put them like that. Um, I love the wolves, they're my favorite. Because you can do so much with these. Like, I, I kind of want to customize them myself. I'm not going to lie. And there's just, like, torsos, arms, weapons, um, you know, cool stuff. Because, you know, we like to customize. So we can do our own stuff as well. So if you have not seen Black Major stuff, I highly suggest that you go see him. So check the link below. Um, it'll probably send you over to his Instagram. And he's constantly posting new stuff that he does. Like, he did... Um, a purple god what was it why can I not think of the name right now um, it was like a purple and blue I can't think of the name right now but it made me want a pink Cobra commander and he made a hooded Cobra commander but I like the helmeted Cobra commander um, so if ever he does one I'm gonna have to scoop one up but I mean he does different styles he does different colors they are phenomenal so if you ever get a chance you should definitely check out his stuff so I'm going to put these facing forward because they look cool. That's why. All right. I'm going to put these aside. And that's definitely going to go in our whole creation station and customizable stuff. And um, should de if you have not seen, we just did a video of, you know, finding all my husband's G.I. Joe stuff and his parts and pieces. So he could just for days make a new figure. All right. So this one. This one is... Um, Oh, it's from Jay Marino. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Um, he's a friend of ours, and he's a very, very talented individual as well. And I'm going to try and um, keep this intact because I really don't want to ruin. Um, I don't want to ruin the packaging since he kind of drew on it. So I'm going to be as gentle as possible to open this. Um, okay, so most of it is down here. So if I go up here... I won't damage the packaging. I mean, that was a really cool surprise to see that, like, really cool artwork in there um, on the package. It gave it, like, a whole new thing. So, um, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to be doing an interview with Zeus Marino in the future. So, stay tuned. I'm hoping that works out, and I'm hoping we can set something up soon. Um, that's the plan. But we will see. We will see. All right, let me see if I can slide this out of here maybe I think I almost got it gotta be gentle okay so if I just do this see you know I have a hard time opening packaging it is as it is and then you want to add putting artwork on here and trying to save it so you know it's gonna be harder all right 
All right, it's saved. I did it. Didn't think that was going to, but I did. All right, now I got to tackle a box. See, I'm telling you, half like the hardest part of this channel is trying to open stuff. It's not easy. See, and look, when I open stuff, stuff falls over. I can't win. I'm telling you. All right, but it's open now, and. I don't know what's in here. Maybe my husband does, but I have no clue. I didn't even know he got anything from him, so this is a complete surprise to me. So we'll see what it is. All right. What do we got? What is this little thing? Oh, this is cute. It's, oh, well, I can't say what that is on here because it looks like it says glow something I can't say on our channel. Um, it's Attack of the Killer Z. So I'm going to put my finger over what I think this is. Oh, Attack of the Killer Z. It's really cute, right? So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take these guys off here real quick. And I'm going to open it. And I'll let you see it. This is really cute. I wonder how my husband came across this one. So obviously it's glow in the dark because, you know, we do glow in the dark stuff, but this is so cute. He's so little. Um, so my guess is that this is something that Jay created. So um, I'm gonna have his information in the description below. So you should definitely take a look. So um, I haven't seen it before, but Jay, I must say, it's really adorable and I like it. And glow in the dark, yes, please. That's how we do things in this house. We love things, all things glow in the dark. So that was a cute little surprise. Thank you. I like it. So that kind of wraps up our weekend. I mean, it's still not over. We still have a whole nother day, but I don't think we're going anywhere tomorrow. I think we pretty much got everything we need to get today. So I'm going to go clean up and I'm going to go put my son's toys up so we can get them in the morning. So I will see you guys next video and check the description below. Tons of cool stuff. Bye guys everyone so we have reached a new milestone and I'm really excited because finishing one milestone means I can go make another one so I would like everyone to make sure that they're continuing to comment like and subscribe on the page and get your friends and family to do it too um, because the more the channel grows the more fun stuff we get to do so I wanted to let you guys know um, we're gonna still do giveaways and such um, with the comments and the comments have been reset um, at the 150 mark so any videos after January 10th is how we're going to count the comments going forward so make sure you're commenting on the new videos that are coming out so I'm thinking um, our next giveaway is probably gonna be at the 300 subscribers mark and I think it's very doable. I think we can reach it and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Um, so I think, I, I don't know, I don't think I know what the prize is going to be yet. So it's to be determined. Um, we'll see. And you know, I'm always taking suggestions. So if you want to put something down in the comments that, um, some toy that you would like to see as a giveaway, just let me know. Um, so yeah, and it could be another um, winner's choice. So who knows? And don't be disheartened. I know some of you think that 300 is really far away, but who knows? I may just do a random giveaway in the middle just because I like doing giveaways. So stay tuned. I may like put a secret word in a video that if you are the first one to find the hidden word, then you get a, a toy or get a prize. So who knows? So stay tuned. Um, and I appreciate you guys as always and help me reach my next milestone. I'll see you soon. see this guy is ready to glow I'm super excited we put him under the lamp I wanted you to see so here we go very cool and I like that it's blue that is really neat I like him oh thanks Jay this is cute this is this is really cool I'm glad you're getting into the toys awesome all right We'll see you guys next time. Bye.